Hello YouTube! Today I would like to present to you my new invention, Haptolim, a 3D printed Arduino based microtonal instrument and MIDI controller. Unlike most of the microtonal MIDI instruments, Haptolim's microtonality is implemented with native MIDI protocols, so it works on a plug and play basis with most of the synthesizers. With Haptolim, you can control the pitch of the tone, the dynamics and aftertouch. The dynamics and aftertouch controls are sent to the synthesizer with general CC commands, so they can be assigned to any functions you desire. With the rotary encoder, you can transpose the tone on the fly. Haptolin is not only a great microtonal solo instrument, but it can also be used as an ambient sound effect controller. The ominous sounds that you heard in the beginning of this video were played entirely on my Haptolin. Thanks to the microtonal character, you have a better control of the ambient than with a classic MIDI keyboard. The Haptolin project is fully open source and you can find it on Arduino Project Hub and Thingiverse. Note that the Haptolin was designed for my hand in mind, so depending on the palm size, your experience may vary. Haptolin is a child of four main inspirations. Theremin by Lev Terman, Modulin by Martin Molin from Wintergatan, Haptics Glove by the Haptics team, and Power Glove by Nintendo. I wanted to be able to produce a theremin-like sound at home and also have some sort of tactile and kinesthetic feedback. The Haptolin was designed to be operated with one hand through the bending of fingers, as it is in the case of the Power Glove, and the inspiration taken from the Modulin was mostly methodological. Seeing Martin's design process motivated me to finish the Haptolin project. Whereas in the Haptex Glove the tactile feedback is provided by the state-of-the-art robotic system, in Haptolin I am using a simple analog solution powered by two braided elastic bands. This way, the stronger I engage the keys, the stronger tactile feedback I experience, and it makes it easier to feel what note is being played and makes learning much faster. To my surprise, the whole project took almost exactly a year. I've built a total of 5 prototypes, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The idea for the Haptolin was born soon after I built my first MIDI controller, consisting of a physical knob that could control a digital knob inside of my DAW. The first Haptolin prototype was just a breadboard attached to my forearm with elastic bands. Surprisingly, it was already capable of producing sound and I tested it on my old Casio keyboard. and on my Roland stage piano. The second Haptolin had a custom 3D printed body housing all of the electronics. I designed it in a way so that you only need one hand to control the instrument. This way, with your left hand you can play the accompaniment on piano. Haptolin 2.5 had a slightly modified body, but at this point I was already looking for a replacement for the uncomfortable geared keys. The third Haptolin prototype was attached to the other side of my hand and it was supposed to provide the haptic feedback by pulling on my fingers with 3D printed springs. The springs themselves worked quite well, but the whole design was a disaster, so unfortunately I had to scrub it. Finally, I started working on the last, fourth prototype. I mixed some clay with paper scraps and salt and prepared a clay negative mold of my palm. After firing it in the oven, I had an exact model of my Haptolin handle. Then I used Meshroom to prepare a photogrammetric scan of my mold 
and generated a 3D digital model of the handle. After that, I 3D printed it to test if everything is comfortable and if everything fits. Then I designed the final version of the Haptolim. The gears and springs were replaced by the piano-like keys actuated by two braided elastic bands. This design finally felt right and was very comfortable, so I started learning how to play it. Honestly, I still suck at playing haptolin, but let's face it, so far I am the best haptolinist in the entire world. Try beating that! To sum up, I wanted to have a nice, microtonal MIDI instrument that would allow me to produce a theremin-like sound and provide me with a haptic feedback. I must say that I am really happy with the final result. If you like the Haptolin project, be sure to check the Arduino Project Hub and Thingiverse, for Haptolin is fully open source and is available for downloading. There are more projects on the way, so I hope to see you soon.